So it's all about my special mashed potato recipe. Hi everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna share my special mashed potato recipe. Like I mean, this is gonna be the creamiest, most delicious mashed potato you will ever try. <music> Of course, the main ingredient is potato and you can use any type of potato, whether red or white potatoes. But I love using the red one because it gives me the most fluffy and I love the consistency I achieve whenever I use this one. And also, whenever I use the same measurement, you guys, it comes out exactly the same each and every time so i just prefer the red potato and of course the first thing i like to do go ahead and do is to peel out the bag some people actually like using um their potato like this where they just cut it up and then just boil it and then while they before they match the before they mash it they go ahead and remove the skin but i feel like this one right here it makes it so much easier and also when i'm peeling my potatoes guys i don't like peeling everything i probably if i'm using like i think i used 10 potato for this video so i would peel it and then leave two with the bag the reason is because i love the kind of the feel and and also the texture i get from my potato whenever i leave a little skin of um it you know whenever i leave the skin on while making my mashed potato so of course i just went ahead you know removed the peel and then i'm just cutting it into pieces sometimes i like to cut the bigger potatoes into two and um, into four pieces and then the smaller ones i cut into two and you want to make sure you cut the potato like you want to make sure their measurement is equivalent so that when you go ahead and boil it you don't have some that will be soft and then some that will be hard so you just want to make sure the whole thing um, cooks the same time and also you know the whole thing just you know works together that's just the easiest word um, to use for it and the only thing i always like to add to my potato is some seasoned salt just for taste before i go ahead and boil it i just add a little bit of seasoned salt and this will help give it a very nice taste all right so once my potato is ready i would say i normally cook it for around um 15 20 minutes at most 30 minutes because you need it to be as soft as possible as you guys can see like when i put my 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 fork inside it it literally just went in pieces so that is exactly the consistency you need for your mashed potato all right so here i i drained out the water and then next is to go ahead and add the ingredients so for the ingredients all you need is some butter i like to use um this um country rock butter and then you need whipped cream this is the heavy whipping cream from bowl and basket absolutely love the consistency i get with this particular whipped cream and then i need some black pepper and also um some seasoned some salt and what i love to do depending on the measurement of my potato like i told you guys i use 10 potatoes and i'm gonna go ahead and add about four spoons of butter like the butter is actually what makes it really really creamy this is what makes it that extra you know this is what gives it that extra creaminess and also i'm gonna go ahead and add my whipping cream and for the whipping cream for 10 uh, mashed potatoes i'm using one cup of whipping cream and then i'll go ahead and add some black pepper and then salt to taste i'm not sure what happened to my salt and um, clay but i also added some salt to taste you guys and then i'm gonna go in with this um I'm not sure what they call this too, but I think it's um, something mesh. I think it's potato masher or something. I'm just going to go in with it and just um, mash my potato a little bit. I'm not going to mash the whole thing because we're still going to go ahead and add it into my mixer. And this right here, you guys, if you miss this step with your a mashed potato is not going to give it that fluffy feel that we are going for so i like to go ahead and use my mixer or whisk is it whisker or mix mixer like you guys <laughs> i'm just i like to use this right and add my mashed potato inside and also the consistency as you all can see my my mashed potato is not runny it's not too hard it's not too soft this is this is exactly the consistency where you want to get your mashed potato to look like because by the time you go ahead and 
um whisk it it's just gonna be so fluffy so creamy you guys like i can't even explain it i wish you guys can taste a little bit of this so that you would understand what i'm talking about and also i like to add a little bit like i like i like to add maybe one spoon of um butter before i go ahead and whisk it and you guys once you're done whisking you can see like there is nothing much when it comes to mashed potatoes i remember back in the day when i would just go and buy the um the powdered mashed potato come home make it but it doesn't just have that natural fresh taste to it but ever since i discovered how to make my mashed potato like this you guys it's just been so smooth and yeah it's just you know it makes it so much creamy it gives it that extra creaminess and also to eat my mashed potatoes sometimes i like to eat it with some veggies and also chicken so for today's dinner we are having our mashed potato with broccoli and chicken and then baked chicken and also for my mashed potato i like to add a little bit of um, melted butter and also some parsley and yeah guys i believe that is all there is to today's recipe i just wanted to share this quick recipe with you guys and i hope you all enjoyed it and yeah please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and till my next video i will see you all very very soon bye